Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the language of an out-of-the-box dashboard in P1UP. And you might think, uh, oh, I don't ever want to do that because that must be a huge task. Um, and to show that it's not, I will do it live and I will do it with a stopwatch on my, my head. And I'm going to, uh, before I start the stopwatch, what I'm going to do is I will take this English uh, running uh, dashboard and turn it uh, Danish. Uh, because that's a language of my uh, of, that I know. Uh, so it's not about you learning Danish and you can uh, you can fast forward in this video if you don't want to see every single little deal, detail. But you will uh, see that it's less work that you actually think. And once you've done it once, uh, you can export them out and uh, put them in with other customers running the same language. So uh, let me begin. And what I'm going to do is I'm first going into the edit widgets and find the sales overview and call it the Danish words for that. And as you can see, I'm not the fastest typer in the world, but uh, bear with me. We'll update. I'm on my laptop, which is fairly slow, so it takes a little while to open here. Um, but we will see the designer in a short while. And let's begin. So I can simply right click each component and say edit names. So sales uh, last 12 months. And then we need the amount. And I'm done with the first part. Then we go over here, do exactly the same. This is customer group sales, so the yeah, I'm trying to remember Danish. <laughs> uh, So you can see it's actually not too much. Total is actually the same word in Danish, so um, and there we go with the second one. Let's take the third one. The various columns. Done with that one. Next one down here. As you can see, many of the words are the same, so you could have had prepared them up front and just sitting and copy pasting them in. Uh, there we go. Two to go. This one is pretty easy. It's just start to indicate we can navigate from it and it's the same in the values so we're done there and the final one and if you're still with me you must be very fascinated about the Danish language and if you have fast forwarded this has just been me doing 
exactly what you see here. And we are done. I will save and see my timer. It took me four minutes and roughly for four minutes, 30 seconds. And this is one of the big ones. Uh, but now I can go in after I save this, reload the views. And again, I'm on a laptop. Uh, if I had my normal machine, it would be faster, of course. But now, everything here is in Danish. Uh, I haven't changed uh, the language to Danish, but these will automatically also change, or it's very simple for this one as well to go in and, and give some new names. So uh, if you roughly sit down for 10, 15 minutes, you're done with this. Uh, there's uh, five, four different uh, four or five different uh, labels. So within less than an hour, you can go from having nodded in your language to your language. Yes, it's, uh, it's not the most fun hour you can have, but uh, as you can see, one per five minutes. It's not like this is uh, days of work in any way. Uh, so you now, you now have the option to, to do this if you like. Uh, and with that, thank you for attending the session and have a nice day.